We're following some breaking news. Another cybersecurity issue on the Strip, this time with Caesars Entertainment. Yeah, the company says it suffered a major data breach about a week ago. Caesars revealed the breach in an SEC filing this morning. You may have seen reports about this in Bloomberg News and the RJ yesterday. Social Security and driver's license numbers of its loyalty program members were compromised. Now, if your information was compromised, Caesars says you will be notified. So another issue with uh, cybersecurity on the strip. Props, you see it. Let's get, let's get it. Caesar Entertainment confirms ransomware payment for customers' data theft. Come on, Caesars, we're not playing, paying the bad guys. So let's read the article, right? So the question is: Is Las Vegas under attack? We did one MGM a couple days ago. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Caesar Entertainment self-describes as the largest casino chain with the most extensive loyalty customer program in the industry. It paid a ransom to avoid the online link of customer data stolen in a recent cyber attack. Caesar discovered on September 7th that attackers stole its loyalty program database, which stores driver license numbers, social security numbers for many customers. And some of those guys are whales and high rollers, so you definitely can't get their <laughs> information out there. They might not come back. So we are still investigating the extent of the additional personal or otherwise sensitive information contained in the files acquired by the, an unauthorized actor, says in the AK. AK is what uh, companies file to the uh, SEC. There it is, filed by seizures with the United States Security and Exchange Commission on Thursday telling you uh, big events or big cash outlays. So obviously, if you're paying ransomware, it's going to be a big cash outlay. We have no evidence to date that any member's password pins, bank account information, uh, payment card information were acquired by the unauthorized actor. The unauthorized actor is the hacker. <laughs> Caesar AK also implies that a ransom demand by the attacker was paid to prevent the leak of stolen data. As Wild Street Journal reported, a hotel and casino entertainment company paid roughly, wow, $15 million, half the attacker's initial $30 million demand. So two is there's actually companies and cybersecurity companies that help you actually do that ne negotiation and get your payment down. Nevertheless, Caesars made it clear that it cannot provide any assurance regarding the potential action of a threat actor responsible for the incident including the possibility that it might still sell or leak the customer information stolen data. We have taken steps to ensure that stolen data is deleted from unauthorized hackers, although we cannot guarantee that results. Um, most times if you pay the hackers, they don't want to leak your data because if they leak your data, nobody's going to pay them in the future, right? We are monitoring the web. I'm not seeing any evidence that the data has been further shared, published, or otherwise misused. While Caesar's didn't link the attack to a specific cybercrime or threat actor. Bloomberg reported on Wednesday that the attack was conducted by a group named Scatter Spider, also tracked as UNC3944. This is a financially motivated uh, threat group, has been active since May of 2022. It uses a combination of social engineering, multi-factor authentication fatigue, SMS credential phishing attacks to steal users' credentials and breach target networks. Man, we're on the wrong side of the game, man. We need to be getting some of that $15 million. Data breaches impacts only the loyalty program members. According to Caesars, customers not enrolled in the loyal pro loyalty program were not impacted by the data breach. The company will notify all effective individuals over the coming weeks. The company said in a separate data breach notification with additional details that reported an incident to law enforcement. It also added that attacks are not impacted its customer facing operation, aka MGM, online mobile gaming app, physical properties, as they operated without disruption. Caesar is the second casino in impacted by cyber uh, recently. With them, GM Resorts International is closing on money that it was forced to take its IT systems offline following a cyber attack that affected its website, reservation system, and casino services, i.e. ATM, slot machines, and credit card machines. In 2020, MGM also disclosed a 2019 attack that led to the breach of its cloud service, allowing the hackers to steal over 10 million customer records. 
So it's <laughs> we have to figure out if Las Vegas is under attack. I'm sure if Caesars and MGM is being attacked, I think they're attacking some other um, casinos. Why? Casinos and big, large companies, they actually have best practices. So they use a lot of the same systems, a lot of the same companies, a lot of the same architecture. So if you get one, a lot of times you can get all the rest of them. Uh, once again, shout out to uh, Caesars. Y'all better start spending some of that money on cybersecurity. Once again, Professor Black Ops, please subscribe.